Hello, 10th graders, and welcome to the first day of exam review. I usually leave about a week, maybe a little bit more for exam review. And since we're doing things virtually, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to ask different questions than I did on the test. Well, why would I do that? It's more work for me, and, you know, it's a little bit more work for you. Well, if you just were able to copy your old test answers down to your exam, you wouldn't be learning anything. You would just simply be copying, and it would be more like remembering A, B, or C, or whatever the answer was, instead of actually the content. So, it's going to be an easier exam, and you're going to be able to use your notes. I'm going to even supply you with my PowerPoints. But, <clears throat> um, instead of uh, just copying down old test answers onto an exam. I'm going to make entirely new questions. So, we went all the way back to chapter 9 in January, and we worked from chapter 9 to about chapter 18. Now, um, I'm going to link this PowerPoint in the description of this video, so you're going to be able to get the PowerPoint itself. And this video is actually, its its entire purpose, of course, besides to supply the link, is to just talk to you about some of the things that were happening in Chapter 9. If you would rather just study yourself, be my guest. You don't even have to watch the rest of this video, because we're just going to go over some of the things we learned in Chapter 9. Um, but otherwise... Um, just stick around and we'll we'll talk through some of these things. Uh, it's going to be a very short video as I'm going to probably summarize chapter 9 in about five minutes. Um, we started out chapter 9 with the idea of homeostasis, an internal balance. Your body wants to remain at balance with its, with its pH, with its blood pressure, with its body temperature, etc. Your body has metabolisms. The, ge the general term for the chemical processes of life. Um, again, we want to maintain balance in something like weight. Uh, you don't want uh, to be obese with a body mass index of, of 30. I talked about how to calculate your body mass index, and there's different calculators. Uh, you want to remain between this 18 and, and 25 range here um, as a healthy weight. And the uh, guidelines are pretty stringent. Uh, to give you some perspective, I'm I'm about 24.5, so I'm I'm bordering this overweight, which is which is pretty insane. But um, but many years of research has poured into this body mass index. Um, you've macronutrients, things you need a lot of. Uh, micronutrients, things you don't need a lot of. Uh, you've simple carbs and uh, complex carbs. You have fiber, protein. Um, different fats and, and lipids, saturated fats from animals, unsaturated fats from um, vegetable oils and other oils, nuts, um, seeds, etc. You have different vitamins we talked about, vitamin A, C, uh, B complex, um, stuff like that. In this chapter we talked about uh, the alimentary canal, all the different parts of um, this canal, like the mouth, the stomach, the small intestine, um, etc. How, oh, there's a cute baby. Um, how there's different functions of the tongue, various different types of, of teeth, and teeth issues like plaque, gingivitis, periodontitis, um, different organs like the liver, which produces bile, bile, bile sorry, the pancreas, which uh, produces pancreatic juice um, and also a substance called sodium bicarbonate, which is a strong base. You have the appendix. Um, you have pancreas, which produces insulin and glucagen. Um, the uh, kidney, which produces uh, urea. Uh, you have different food poisonings we talked about. Um, for instance, the botulism caused, caused by Clostridium botulinum. Um, which grows, and it's called the church picnic killer. Uh, we talked about salmonella and typhoid fever and dyspepsia. 
um, the effects of alcohol, constipation, um, amoebic dysentery, and, and colon cancer. Lots of different things in this chapter, all to do with nutrition and your body. I ha hope you have a great day. Happy studying. Make sure that you take a couple minutes today. I'd recommend maybe 20 minutes to just review the things you already should know about Chapter 9. Anyways, um, have a good one. I'll see you guys later.